What's shaking YouTube? It is New Hampshire guy. Today is Monday. I had a pretty okay weekend for myself. Uh, first up was a nice little flip. This sold really quick. I bought this the other day over at the Hudson Goodwill. This is a Shaquille O'Neal Adidas Boston Celtics t-shirt. Men's size extra large. I paid up for this. I think this is about $6.25. And, um... This sold for $49.99, guys. It's going to cost $3.62 to ship it. So that's out the door, guys. Uh, next up is a new with sticker, um, Sully's Boston Bruins Bobby Orr men's t-shirt, the dive. And it's hard to see the graphic print, but you can see his hands. Um, yeah, guys, new with tags, but this is not worth a lot of money. I paid $4 for it, and this only sold for $13.04. It's going to cost $4.43 to ship it. Next up is a vintage Garfield um, New York Giants um, coffee mug, coffee cup, Jim Davis, um, 1978. I thought this would be worth some more money, but it wasn't. I paid $2 for it. This only sold for $16.36. I haven't printed the label yet, but um, I was going to put it in a flat rate envelope, but it's going to be over $8.80, but I can ship this a little bit cheaper. So it should be between $6 and $7 to ship it. So that's out the door. Next up is something I paid up for recently. This is a Project Rock uh, military t-shirt, men's size medium. I think I paid eight dollars for this, guys, and um, this sold for twenty-five dollars seventy-nine cents. It's going to cost four forty-seven to ship it. Next up are a pair of shorts that I found recently. These are the Cadence Collection bicycle shorts. These have a stain on them. Men's size thirty-two. Cycling shorts. I paid six dollars sixty cents. These sold for $29.96. It's going to cost $5.62 to ship them. Next up is a shirt I've had for several years. I didn't think it would ever sell, but it finally did. This is a North Face Women's um, Trans Antarctica Dog Sled T-shirt. And um, yeah, guys, I've had this for several years. I paid, I think, $3 for it only. And... This sold for thirteen dollars twenty eight cents. It's going to cost four thirty eight to ship it. Next up, I sold a couple of these uh, sweatshirts I bought recently, and um, this is the first one: Ohio State Buckeyes. Um, this is Salem Sportswear. This one has a shitload of um, stains on it, guys, and I couldn't get them all out. I paid five dollars for it, and. Um, Actually, this is the one with less stains. The one over here has got more stains. So this one had a little bit less stains on it. Um, it was in better shape. This sold for $34.19. It's going to cost $6.09 to ship it. Um, next up is a shirt that I, sh that I bought a long time ago. Several years ago when I first sell started selling on eBay. And don't pick up Nautica, guys. It's no good. But I thought it had a cool print of sailboats on the front, so I made the mistake of buying it. I paid uh, four ninety for this. This only sold for fifteen bucks. This is a men's size medium polo shirt. It's going to cost five sixty two to ship it. And last up is another one of these Ohio State Buckeyes Salem Sportswear. This one has a bunch of stains on it. This one has more stains than the other one, <clears throat> so it did not sell as much. For much money. Um, I paid five for it and this sold for 23 bucks. It's gonna cost 609 to ship it. But yeah, guys, I made a couple sales over the weekend, and um, I'm glad I picked this Shaquille O'Neal O'Neal Boston Celtics shirt up. I knew it was kind of rare when I saw it. He didn't play for the team for too, for too long, guys. So uh if you see a Shaquille O'Neal Boston Celtics shirt, it's definitely worth some money. And I'm out of here, guys. Peace.